Welcome to Bid to Win from LearnBuzz. This game simulates the real world of projects. It can be infrastructure, IT or ITS, oil and gas or any other projects. This game involves evaluation, bidding or tendering, financing and execution. The firms in the game are randomly distributed into three groups with an initial capital. Small with 1 crore, medium 10 crores and large 100 crores. Every round is equivalent to one year. In every round, various projects are floated for evaluation and bidding by the participants. Accompanied with information about expected cash flows from the project. Participants are required to apply best case and worst case scenario for various projects. Use concepts such as DCF and WACC to bid aggressively. There are two types of projects. Single contractor, allotment will be done to the highest bidder. Multi-contractor, in this allotment will be done on the basis of book building. Once a project is allotted, cash flows will be over different rounds. In order to bid, companies are allowed to take term loans up to debt equity ratio of 4 is to 1. Every round, the firms can tap equity markets for raising funds. Market price of the company's share will be decided based on debt equity ratio, earnings per share, growth achieved by the company. Thus, with unfolding of the game, smaller firms will grow and enter bigger firms market. But bigger firms can always be more aggressive than smaller firms because of higher capital. At the end of the game, Winners will be decided based on the final enterprise value. The general process is to enter your firm's decision for a given round. Your decisions should be submitted before the specific period of time, otherwise no decision would be taken for a round. After the end of each round, decisions are evaluated relative to the competition and set of reports are generated for your introspection. Game decisions. Each firm has to bid on projects, raise cash and maintain share price. There are two different types of projects. Single lot. The firms who bid the maximum amount will be allotted the project and subsequent cash flows. Multi lot. Multiple firms will be allotted the project and subsequent cash flows will be on proportionate basis. Allotment procedure followed will be book building. If multi lot attracts insufficient response, then it will be allotted to bidders at the minimum investment. Minimum bid requirement. There is a specified minimum bid requirement for each lot of project. You have to bid an amount greater than minimum bid. Number of lots. Enter the number of lots you desire to bid there is a cap on number of lots for multi-lot projects. The allotted projects will be expensed every period, that is it will not be capitalized. But the cash inflows will continue as per the project description. Do remember to tick the checkbox corresponding to project you are bidding. For projects evaluation, assume unlevered beta to be equal to 1, risk free rate equal to 0%, Market risk premium equal to 5%. Prudent investor adds appropriate risk premium after accounting for volatility of expected cash flows. Game decisions raising cash. Every round you can issue equity or take debt at the same time or one after the other. For every new round a firm can issue 100% more shares as outstanding after end of previous round. Please note that for every outstanding share, 
a dividend of rupees 5 needs to be paid every round the maximum allowable debt to equity ratio is 4 is to 1 kindly note that you can issue shares and take loan only once in each round a loan will attract interest on yearly basis and will have to be repaid in full at the end of its duration the applicable interest rate depends on duration of the loan and debt to equity position of the firm the table for the same is as follows whenever a new loan is being raised the new interest rate would be used for new loan and older loans will attract the same interest rate at which they were raised share price share price movement will be dictated by three factors debt to equity ratio sales growth and earnings per share the below table indicates the effects of share price in each of these factors the factors are multiplicative and calculations are carried out at the end of each round game screens the screen description is intended to give you a preview of what is in store for you in the game it is critical to clearly understand the screens here although there is no replacement of in game practice firm details this page tells about the size of your firm small medium or large in addition it lists all the projects won by your firm till last round the winning bid lots allotted and the revenue generated by projects till the end of last round projects list this page is where all the available projects in the current round are up for bidding all the details with respect to projects are provided also provided is the information of cash in hand liabilities payable in current round and the maximum amount which can be used for bidding net of cash in hand and current liabilities manage finance big projects require deep pockets both equity and debt financing is available for your firm in a particular round you can issue 100% of your capital at current share price and take loan for a maximum of debt equity ratio of 4 is to 1 income statement one of the most important financial statement for the capital markets keeping an eye on top line and bottom line at the same time can propel the share price of your firm to moon sales sales is a total revenue generated in last round by the projects won by your firm expenses This is the cash spent on projects one after the bidding process. Operational profit. This is the net of sales and expenses. Interest. It is the cash outgo on account of outstanding loans taken by your firm. Profit before tax. This is net of operational profit and interest. Taxes. Corporate income tax in the game is ten percent of profit before tax. It is interesting to note that. If the profit before tax is negative then the corporate income tax will be negative what this means is that the firm will receive a tax rebate profit after tax this is the profit before tax minus corporate income tax balance sheet balance sheet lists all the assets and liabilities debt one is the loan maturing in next one year and debt to is a loan maturing in next 2 years standings in standings players are ranked on three parameters share price net worth and overall rank the share price change has already been discussed the net worth is calculated by incorporating expected future cash flows into current net worth and then dividing by number of shares of the firm This helps in normalizing net worth of all the small, medium and large firms. The overall rank is deduced by combining the ranks of share price and net worth with equal weightage with share price being superior rank in case of a tie. History. Bidding history is listed on this page wherein all the allotted projects are listed with their corresponding winning bid. Let's start playing the game in our next video. Thank you.